I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind She doesn't know that your favorite So just a wrong turn in up this dusty slope way above the river and now I gotta get right down it and it's incredibly steep but that's okay the trail is kind of unclear on where we're heading and we've read some notes about a slip that we need to go around so I think we're just gonna head back down for the river and hope for the best so due to that marker there and a little footpath we ended up right up there but now we're back on the river and life is good <laughs> your favorite place is still mine now I take the And now we go down. Steep as hell. Don't we go? You can see our little path behind us over there. Heading right up the valley. Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first. All of the turns that I had to unlearn. Back to the. We made it. So I went top of the day. And this is the view. Incredible. Always think about you till first avenue. When I do See how everyone's feeling. I don't always think about you, but sometimes I do. Cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on First Avenue. Good morning. So today is a uh, pretty big day on this year. As we are heading up to the highest point, Stag Saddle. And this is our current view. We're walking along the edge of the river, which is awesome. So this will take us to the next hut, which is Royal Hut. It's about two hours-ish. And um, that's where Prince Anne and Prince... Princess Anne and Prince Charles used to stay as kids. So, hence the name Royal Hut. And then straight from there, we're heading up to Stag Saddle. at the hut. Prince Charles and Princess Anne used to come through as kids. Pretty nice. Slip on solid ground so I can drown the thought of what I don't want to think of right now. This is our current path. Let's try and get up. in the distance, on top of the hill. So we are currently on the home straight of Stag Saddle. Woo -hoo! It's literally just on here. Crazy, the highest point of the two year. Trying to chase my We made it to the top of Sag Saddle. The highest point on the Sierra Woohoo! Mm. 
Over to this side, we have Lake Tekapo. Pretty nice there. Over to this side, we have mountains and a rainstorm coming. So, uh, fingers crossed, we make it to that side before that hits us. We've got rain jackets already. Find a place to watch you for. Just leaving the hut now, and we're gonna carry on and freedom camp along the way so that we can get to take a boat sooner. But it won't feel like so, after a pretty chill walk along the river, we're ending up in a surprise hill, which is really steep. But uh, at least the views are nice and camps not too far, hopefully. We made it to tonight's camp. We uh, carried on trail another eight kilometres uh, from the hut just to get a bit closer to the road and town tomorrow. Uh, we've got a view of Lake Tekapo. I don't know if you can see. And then back there in the clouds is Mount Cook. I don't think I'm showing you the best angle. Yeah, nice sunset evening that should be. Let's get some food. Hold my breath and count myself to sleep or else I feel you in another So as you can see, last night and this morning, it rained pretty hard. But now, we've still got some views of the tech park coming through. It looks like there's a bit of sun coming. Mount Cook's totally disappeared. That's alright, five hours, and we'll be in town! But we are all wrapped up for the rain, just in case it comes back. Fingers crossed there. It's going to stay dry for us though. We also managed to pack everything away, tent included, within half an hour this morning. It just shows uh, how motivated we can be when town and food is Scotland. And just above that deck of all, the sun is making a breakthrough. The rainbow. The slight rainbow. They want to take me away. Throw me in the backseat, rainy day. Promise I wouldn't say If it was up to me you know I would have stayed This is our room for the night. We've got a private bathroom and a four bed dorm to ourselves because of COVID. And we also have views of Lake Decapa. All for 70 bucks. Pretty wicked. From Tekapo, the Tierra Roa follows the Alps to Ocean cycle trail, giving hikers the option to bike, which of course we did. And we were very excited about it. Good morning. So we have just left Tekapo, and today we're doing the Alps to Ocean trail by bicycle. So we're going to head to the Lake Oha today, and uh, yeah, change it up a bit. We're doing it by bike, which will be pretty cool. We're excited. The water on the canal is incredibly blue. And so Oh, the rain is holding on. It's meant to absolutely chuck it on today. Fingers crossed, it'll hold off for us. So yeah, I'll uh, catch you in a bit. <laughs> for some reason, I stopped recording as the wind had started to pick up pretty drastically. And where we were actually ended up being the windiest place in New Zealand. Typical. And then this happened. So I uh, changed a plan, I um, flipped over the handlebars and have done my arm in so I'm not too sure like how bad it is yet but I can't still move my fingers so I'm pretty sure it's not broken but um, the lovely lady that we hired the bikes off is giving me a lift to the medical centre 
so slight change but um Jordan's gonna carry on and we'll should meet at Lake or Hall Lodge after but hopefully everything will be good. <laughs> So twice all Woohoo for having to meet us that is lunchtime Please do not rain It started raining I've been walking on that stuff for the last hour <sighs> two hours left I don't know if I've gone the right way I've gone the TRO route but it's crazy it's crazy I hope Shelby's alright Chilling by the fire Beers by the fire, um, while Jordan um, is outside cycling in the rain. After an hour and a half, I finally found a sign. Yes. Day 131, kilometre 2,480. Um, my friends Shelby and Jordan caught up with me with possible broken arms, <laughs> but hopefully not. <laughs> what do you think you've done? Potentially fractured at the moment. Yeah. So they're not going to be able to come and they're going to meet me in Monica. Go and get a hospital in Monica. Go on, get, get to Bluff. <laughs> Bye team! So we did just that. Why are we not walking Shelby? A nurse at the lodge bandaged me up and advised me not to carry on. Oh my. Well we got waffles. So I mean, we're gonna have to go back. And to make our way to Wanaka for x-rays. Which, after some waffles, we did. And I ended up with my arm in a cast. So, seems to last saw us, I ended up getting a cast on my arm, which means we are off trail for about a week, and then fingers crossed, like it's not fractured or anything, but it could either be fractured or dislocated, they're not too sure, just because of the amount of fluid that's there. So it's in a cast just for a week, for precaution, and then we'll get it re x rayed and hopefully everything should be good. As gutting as it was being off trail, and not hiking with our buddies, we weren't going to let that stop us from having a good time. And let's be honest, there are worse places to be stuck than Wanaka. It wasn't too long before our trail family caught up. And we had a picnic by the lake. With Paul's birthday in a few days, we obviously had to get hitched into Queenstown to join in the celebrations. <laughs>